Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is going to be our Expedition 6 playthrough. So if you need any help with playthrough 6, the uh, Blight Expedition, the Pirate Outlaw Expedition, we have it right here. So in order to start it, you're going to have to play a game. You need to start a brand new save. So you have to go to new game. And then right now, it just came out today. This is Thursday. I'm recording this. So this is April 14th, 2022. Let's go to Community Expedition. We have six weeks left. This is going to end at the end of May. So the last weeks of May is when this ends. You have a little over a month to do it. So plenty of time at this point. But if you need help, like if you're looking up a guide later on, hopefully this helps you go through the expedition and get it done quick because expeditions in No Man's Sky are a limited time event. They only run for a month or a month and a half at a time, six weeks. And when they're gone, they're gone. And the big point about all of the expeditions are you get rewards for completing them. Every stage of the expedition has a different reward. And if you miss it, it's gone forever. There's no way for you to get it unless they do a replay of it at the end of the year. Generally, they do it at the end of the year. Anyway, let's initialize the expedition. Now, the whole goal of the expedition is to do different milestones, and every expedition is different. This one is a pirate expedition, so it's going to be focused on ship combat, on upgrading and attacking and collecting different items that are new with the Outlaw update, which is really, really cool. It's a really fun way to experience all the new stuff that they added in the update, so I love it. And then they force you to start a brand new save. That way you can't cheese it. Like if me, if I use my main save that I've been working 200 hours on, it would be no problem because I have upgraded everything. I have every material you can possibly think of in my save. So you have to start with a brand new save. So it's not as easy. You know, they, they have to put the little difficulty in there somewhere. I'm waiting for the day that they give us a uh, permadeath difficulty one. That would be really awesome. So yeah, th this is Expedition 6, The Blighted. So the first thing you're going to want to do is press pause on your uh, controller. Go over to your expedition tab. You need to go to your pause menu. This is where you're going to live. This is where you need to go to see what you need to do next. Because we're in phase one. We just started. We need to locate our starship. But you can see you can it's all these different milestones you can get to. So you're going to need to start, you know, keeping an eye on all these different things. Like you can start doing, you know, if you want to go to phase five and say, hey, recruit a pirate to or a pilot to your squadron you could do that now if you wanted to it's going to be kind of rough because we can't even get off the planet right now so but you can there's no limitation you can do you can do these in any order you want like there's one around here shoot down 32 pirates you can go do that as soon as you fix your starship but first things first we need to fix our uh scanner and we need to fix our ship so what you need to do is look at your scanner, your analysis visor. We need carbon nanotubes, which means we need a lot of carbon, and those come from plants. So let's grab some carbon. I'll use these little tiny guys right here. I love the music in this. Listen to that. That's amazing. It just gets you pumped up. The music in this game is so good. So we're going to need 50 carbon. We're going to need more than that, but we need 50 just to make our carbon nanotube. So let's grab as much as we can get. And all these plants, I mean, you can also scan them as soon as you fix your scanner. So let's go to our exosuit and make one carbon nanotube right here. And now we can just install it into our analysis visor and fix it. So now that we have our analysis visor fixed, we can scan for our ship. It should come up just like that. You'll see a little ship icon. Let's go over here. And on the way there, you're going to have to pick up some materials because your ship is going to be broken. So you're going to need to pick up a lot of carbon. I'm going to tell you that right up front because you're going to need uh, to fix it with carbon. You also need to make fuel, which takes carbon as well. And because we started out with the expedition save, they give you a backpack refiner free. So you could just start using that right now. So I would recommend putting some fuel in. You need to put some carbon in there. And then put the rest of your carbon in there because we need to make condensed carbon. So we're refining our carbon into condensed carbon. And the best part about this is it's in your backpack. So you can just, as you're running along, it'll just refine in your backpack. 
It's beautiful. I love that. I love that. And then your save is going to be a little bit different than mine. It's randomized. We're all dropped in different areas, but we're on the same planet. So you'll be in the same planet. You'll just be like either north or south. You know, you'll be in a different spot. Excuse me, than me. Yeah, let's grab all this carbon. We're going to need some ferrite dust as well because we need all these different materials in order to fix our broken ship. Our ship is right there. Excuse me. Wow. I just got off a live stream with Twitch. If you guys didn't know, I'm over on Twitch. The There's a link down below in the description to my Twitch channel. And so we are doing this live over on Twitch, but I figured we'd cut a, a guide for YouTube. That way you guys can watch it anytime you want. Because uh, over on Twitch, they only keep it for a certain amount of time and then it's gone. All right, so we've reached our ship, but it's broken. But the goal was to reach it. So now that we've reached it, we can accept our reward. Every time you complete a milestone, you can actually accept a reward and it'll give you stuff. Like this one is going to give us 10 ion batteries, 10 life support gels, and a band movement upgrade. So this is going to be a black market illegal upgrade for our jetpack. So what we can do is we can take our jetpack, we can use X, or if you're on PlayStation Square, pick it up and move it. And we'll move it over to the technology tab. And then we're gonna install this movement upgrade, our jetpack upgrade right there. You want them close together. You see how it has a yellow box around it? If I move it and move it over there, there's no yellow box. They do that to tell you that, hey, these are giving each other an upgrade. You know, they give a little bit of a boost to each other if they're right next to each other. If they're separated, you don't get a boost. And you'll get like one, two, three percent of an increase. So it's not much, but when you start getting multiple upgrades, they add up over time. So definitely put all your upgrades together. Anyway, oh, we have a data store right here. I wonder, can we buy stuff? Oh, we can buy stuff. We don't have any money though, but we could if we wanted to. We could buy all the stuff here. I mean, this is my location, so you might not be lucky enough to get a store right here. Oh, there's a... Uh, a ship over here. Oh, Knight Errant. Thank you so much for jumping in here. But we need to turn off my multiplayer. We need to turn that off. That way, nobody can get in here because we're trying to make a guide here. I forgot to do that beforehand. Anyway, let's start getting the uh, materials we need. So first thing you can do is jump in your starship and it'll tell you a little bit of the backstory of the expedition. We have our launch thruster busted. And then we have this iteration, and that's my number right there. Online. Atlas connection. Sabotaged. The ship seems to recognize me, but something is wrong. The damage to the core components is not consistent with a crashed impact. Someone has deliberately tampered with this vessel. Your presence in this galaxy is unappreciated. Traveler anomaly. We are watching and we are dangerous. Do not repair this ship. Do not pursue us. We're going to trace that. We need to see what the heck's going on here. As I attempt to probe the source of the message, it self-destructs. The only clue is the signature on the message. The Blight. So the Blight is the pirate uh, battalion that's coming after us. I have no memory of provoking this animosity, but the tone suggests this is the work of interstellar pirates. I should repair this ship and investigate further. They told me not to, but we're going to do it anyway. So what we need to do is we need to fix our launch thruster, our pulse engine, and we need to fix our hyperdrive. Hyperdrive is a little bit more advanced. We need to get to the space station for that, but we need we could do these two right now. We need pure ferrite, dihydrogen jelly. We can make those. Hermetic seal and metal plate. We can make all of the stuff. So the first thing I would recommend is dihydrogen jelly comes from dihydrogen crystals which are these blue things over here, these blue crystals. Pick up, you need 50 of them, so pick up as much as you can get. You need 50 to make a jelly out of it. Let's grab all that, perfect, there we go. And I think we got close to 50, right? Come on. We are at 44. Do we need 50? Let me check. Oh, no, no, we need 40, got it. Okay, so we have 40, we're good to go. So we have our jelly now, but we need pure ferrite. And what we can do is we could take our regular ferrite dust. If you put it in your portable refiner, we, we just condensed all of our carbon into condensed carbon. We need that later on. But we could put our ferrite dust in here, and our ferrite dust will turn into pure ferrite if we refine it. So let's refine the crap out of that. 
We're also going to need more for a metal plating. So you need a lot of ferrite dust for metal plating as well. So let's grab more ferrite dust. Every rock will give you ferrite dust. And it could give you some other stuff, but most of the time it gives you uh, ferrite dust. See right there? All these rocks around us will give us ferrite dust. We need a lot of it, so we're going we're gonna to take as much as we can get. We're also going to grab some more uh, carbon. We're going to need that later on as well. So always farm as much as you can for free. Once you start making money, you can buy it. Once you get to, you know, to a store or the, like the uh, space station. Oh, we need to recharge our, our battery. We use this for that. And mining beam. Let's use regular carbon for that because we can get some more carbon from all the plants that are around. But yeah, once you get to a space station, you start earning money. You can just buy all this stuff willy-nilly. But right now, we have no money. We're, you know, we're basically abandoned on this... Uh, on this planet, so we're gonna need to get all of what we can for free. So another way to make money is, if you scan animals, now that we have our scanner fixed, when you scan animals, it pays you money. So we got 3,000 bucks for scanning that. We can scan everything we can, and the cool thing is you can upgrade your scanner and make more money. So right now we have a basic scanner, which is 1,600 for some animals. It'll give you a little bit of money. Once you upgrade it, once you add some more upgrades to it, It'll start giving you like a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand bucks for every animal you scan, which is a lot of money. So we could definitely start doing that later on. The other thing you could do is check all of this stuff right here. These red boxes will give you random materials and upgrades and stuff like that. Not upgrades, but you know, random materials that you can use for other stuff. All right, so we should have enough to build everything we need. So first things first, fix our launch thruster. We have our jelly. We need pure ferrite, so we need to take our ferrite. Oh, we already put it in there. So we need to take it out. We have 99 pure ferrite. Remember, we put our ferrite dust in there and got that. So now we can fix our launch thruster. We have our 50 pure ferrite, and we have our one dihydrogen jelly. Perfect. Beautiful. Then we have a pulse engine. We need to, we need to make a hermetic seal and metal plating. We can make both of those because we have the blueprint for it. So here's our hermetic seal. You need 30 condensed carbon. That's why we condensed it earlier. And then you need metal plating, which is 50 ferrite dust. That's why we were collecting all that ferrite dust from the rocks. So now we're good to go. Let's grab that and that. Perfect. Now, the other thing I could say is if you don't want your rocket launcher, like I never use it, I will get rid of it. You can delete any technology, any upgrade you want. If you need it, don't do this, but, you know, I don't normally use my rocket launcher, so I'm going to destroy it. Because when you destroy it, you get copper and condensed carbon out of it. When you break a technology, it gives you little pieces of the broken technology for you to use. And we need this copper because if you put the copper in your backpack refiner, it actually refines into chromatic metal, which is a really rare thing. Copper turns into chromatic metal. We're going to need this, so let's keep that going. Geodes are random things you pick up from the ground whenever you're, you know, whenever you're digging up rocks or uh, the crystals. They'll give you different random, like, little uh, little crystals, and they just give you more of that stuff. Like, you get more ferrite dust and everything from that. So we just got a whole bunch. We got 50 chromatic metal. Let's put that in our suit, so we're good to go. So let's move this down here. I try to organize my stuff. That way I can kind of know where everything is. There we go. So we should be all set and ready to go. Oh, ferrite dust. What is this going on in here? We need to put all this away. It's exosuit, exosuit. Tritium needs to stay in our ship. So now we're fixed. We're good to go. So let's take off. Beautiful. Restored the critical starship systems. We did that milestone. So let's accept the reward for that. Go to our expedition tab again. Let's collect our reward. Beautiful. We got a warp cell times three. That's your hyperdrive fuel. Wiring loom times three and a band launch thruster. So let's actually look at this. This is a uh, black market upgrade again. If you want to install it, it is a uh, outlaw launch thruster. So we can put the launch thrusters together again. Look at that. They have a blue outline. That's how you know that they go together. But we need to, we need to fix our hyperdrive and we need some parts from the space station so let's go to the space station real fast we're gonna need some upgrades from the space station some materials from the space station 
And I like to be in third person, so that way I can see the ship and how cool it looks. All right. So we have our warp cell. We need to fix our hyperdrive, which means we need chromatic metal. We need a little bit more, and we need three micro processors, which is really hard to get because they're really expensive, but I have a feeling we can probably get it done. So we need to sell some stuff. What, uh, what could we sell? We can't really sell anything. But we can... Oh, we cannot accept a reward, so we're good on that. So what we can do is there is a planet right next to the space station, that yellow uh, hexagon right there. We can go right next to it there. There is a activated copper, but there are aggressive sentinels. But when there are aggressive sentinels, that means there are gravitino balls. And that is something we're going to need to get later on anyway, but the benefit is Gravitino Balls sell for a really good price. This is something that's going to be really hard to do because Sentinels will attack you the second you grab a Gravitino Ball. They are like a security thing, and so you don't want to grab it unless you're really prepared for the Sentinels to come after you. I'm ready for it. I think we could do it this early. We, have, we don't have very many upgrades, but I think we could pull it off. Worst case scenario, we die and we'll just respawn and you have to go back to where you died because you need to pick up your items. You drop all your items in your inventory when you die and you'll have a little grave site that you can stop at. Oh, wait a minute. There's a communication station over here. Let's use this to our advantage because a lot of people are very awesome and they will mark cool locations with a communication station like this. So let's go over here and see what the heck is going on with this communication station. Maybe it's a special item that we need to pick up. Well, 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 this is actually a security beacon right here. We need to get one of these later on anyway, but be very careful. The Sentinels don't like you around here, especially on an aggressive Sentinel planet. They will attack you on site. So you need to be careful, especially, oh man, there's a mech over there. But what we can do is if you come over here to the, there's a little uh, computer right here access it really fast because the sentinels are going to come after you and we can shut down the sentinel forces right now so now all of the sentinels will be shut down on the planet this whole planet now has all their uh sentinels disabled which is awesome we can also extract a weapons technology let's see what's going on in here Ooh, okay we have a good little pistol here we need to do this for a uh, a milestone later on so let's do this real quick we need 775,000 nanites and we only have 4,000, so we need a whole bunch more to even pick this thing up. So we can't afford to get it right now. You need to buy it from the uh, Sentinel Nest. But I think we're okay, because we're gonna we're just going to log off. Now the Sentinels are turned off. Oh, stole a Sentinel technology. Okay, that seems like it's bad. I didn't steal anything. It just gave it to me, I guess. Hey, you know what? If it gives it to you, great, but you should have to buy the, uh, the multi-tool. I didn't buy the multi-tool. That's fine. I guess we're going to use this. <laughs> okay. So we're going to upgrade. We're going to accept the reward for that. We have a paralysis mortar. Okay. We also got unstable plasma. These are unlocks that we got for getting that. All right. Counterfire. Got it done. Holy cow. But I was mostly doing that because... There's going to be a whole bunch of Gravitino balls around here. They're going to be two little stars right there. So that's what you want to grab. We can get a whole bunch of money for grabbing these. And because we turned off the Sentinels, they're not going to come after us. So that's actually a really good thing to do before you start grabbing Gravitino balls. Also, whenever you kill a uh, Sentinel, they have a chance of dropping these barrels. Specifically, the mechs will drop the purple ones like this. The drones, the flying sentinels, will drop the green ones, like this. And the uh, quads, the ones that look like a dog, they will drop a blue barrel. All those different barrels will have different cool things inside of them, so it benefits you to pick them up, and it recharges your shield. So if you're being attacked, pick up one of those barrels, and it will recharge your shield for you. Oh, let's scan this guy. He's scary looking with those big old claws. That's okay. Got 3,000 bucks for that. There should be some Gravitino Balls over here. So grab, we need to grab 25 of these to hit the milestone. So I'm gonna grab as many as I can. Number one, we can sell these and make a ton of money. So it's best to do this early on. 
the first step. Yep, there you go. Boom. And the other thing you can do is... Oh, right there. Oh, no, 16. You only need 16 Gravitino Balls. Got it. Well, we got that one done. So let's go into our expedition log again. Accept those rewards, because you want to get all the cool upgrades that come with these rewards. Like, we're going to get a Scatter Blaster plan, multi-tool expansion slot, ban Scatter Blaster upgrades. Oh, yeah, we got this. So now we can make a weapon to go into our multi-tool, which is awesome. Uh, we only have $7,000, but we'll be able to sell all these Gravitino Balls and make a ton of money that way. So that's what we're doing. We're grabbing them. Each stack of these sells for $200,000. Heck yeah. So we got a few stacks of them. We're doing good. We're doing great, actually. And then our salvage class. This is what you get when you kill a uh, sentinel. It will drop. Whenever you pick up one of those barrels, it will drop a salvage glass. And this will give you a random component. It could be... Like, uh, I, it could be antimatter, it could be uh, an upgrade, it could be ferrite dust, or it could be a sentinel upgrade. So we got lemium from one of them. We also got a, a viking effigy, another thing we can sell, which is okay. Hey, you know what? We're making money here. So we can also take out these pillars right here. These are like the power control nodes. If you want to take these out, they will give you glass as well. That way you can possibly get a uh, sentinel upgrade from there. So let's see. What did we get? We got one glass. And we did get an upgrade. We got an exosuit upgrade for a sentinel upgrade right there. Boom. Done. Easy peasy. Actually, you know what? We should install that. So hold down X if you're on Xbox or Square if you're on PlayStation. You can install this baby right here. And this one will give me 24% more solar power and 40% more life you know, for my life support tanks. So very awesome, very awesome. Oh, we have a trader dropping down here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, look at this guy. This is, anytime you see a green marker like that, it's a trader, he wants to trade with us. So let's see if we can sell some stuff and make some money. We can offer to trade, he will buy all your stuff too. So let's sell, there you go. And we have our Gravitino balls in here somewhere. There they are. 663,000. We'll take that. We can sell the hard frame engine. That comes from the mechs that we killed. Lemium. We'll, t we'll sell that. Viking effigy. Yes. Unstable plasma. We don't really need that. I mean, me personally. You, if you have a different play style, keep it. I don't use it, so I'm going to get rid of it. We can sell the pugnium. I mean, we can use this to make a uh, upgrade later on, but yeah, yeah. You know what? We're going to keep that for now. So I think we're we're pretty set on everything in here so far. So let's go to our um uh, yep, we go to buy and he sells you black market upgrades. We don't have enough nanites for that. But that's okay. We were just trying to get the money to buy this awesome awesome multi-tool in here. So I want to get a good upgraded multi-tool. So let's extract the weapons technology. And it costs us 700,000, yep, 775 and we have 800,000 so we are doing awesome. We can also exchange it, but again, exchange, it doesn't tell you what it costs, but I'll tell you right now, it'll take whatever your multi-tool is worth, 300,000, and it'll just trade it in. So instead of 775, it'll only be 400, because it'll take off the 300,000 that it costs. And let me show you, we have 808,000 right now. If I exchange it, oh, we have to go through this again real quick. All right. But now, look at that. It took, it still took almost 400,000 because my multi-tool wasn't worth the entire amount. So keep that in mind. It's not free. It's not free at all. So don't think it is. Just because there's no number there doesn't mean it's free. But we have an upgraded multi-tool and we have an upgrade. We have multi-tool pieces there. But we also need to make some money to get those microprocessors and probably get some more, um some more materials from the space station. So let's start scanning some of these animals to make money. We also need to look for more Gravitino balls. Now that we know that the Sentinels are turned off, might as well take advantage of that, right? Let's get some more Gravitino balls. Where are you, Gravitino balls? There's some over here. And you can get as many as you want. If you only want like a handful just to make a little bit of money, go ahead, go for it. I'm going to grab this group right here because this looks like a good set. You know, it's like, what, a good stack or two? So this will give us plenty of money to buy the microchips we need. 
Oh, wait a minute. We have more Gravitino balls over here. Now, I mean, since we're here anyway, <laughs> I easily get distracted, guys. Sorry. I get distracted. I want to make some money early on. So, Gravitino balls are a great way to do that. Let's grab that. And it doesn't matter which size they all they, they are on the ground. They all are equal. They're all the same. So you don't have to worry about, oh, this is a big one or that's a small one or whatever. They all are the same in your inventory. And so we should have a pretty, pretty good stack of uh, Gravitino balls. All right. But our trader flew away, which is fine. We can go to the space station and we can go sell this off. So let's head to that space station. Now that we're doing awesome, we have a ton of stuff. We have a ton of money. We're good to go. Oh, yeah. Rock music. I love it. Listen to that. Yeah. All right. So now what we need to do is we can upgrade our multi-tool because we got our multi-tool upgrades. Inventory upgrades, I should say. So we can, we can do that. We can put more room in our inventory for our multi-tool. We can install the multi-tool expansion slots. And because we have our A-class, we can put in a ton of room in here. So one, two, three, four, five. How many did we get? Do we still have more? Oh yeah, we still have more. We still have three more. So let's grab some more. Because we're in A-class, we should be able to upgrade it a little bit more. Let's see. Yep. So you won't be able to max it all the way out because we're not an S class, but we have an A class. So boom, boom, boom. So yeah, now we have a lot of room. Look at that. We have a lot of room in our inventory. So boom, we have a C level upgrade, which is, eh, you know what? It's okay. It'll work for now. We also need to sell a whole bunch of our Gravitino balls. Let's do that real quick. We're going to sell the Gravitino balls for 800,000. Yeah, I'll take that. I don't think we picked up anything else we'd need to sell, so we're good to go on all of that stuff. But we do need to buy. I would say I would always recommend buy life support gels. Buy ferrite dust. Buy all the building blocks, the main stuff. The oxygen, buy all of that. Sodium, buy all of that. You're going to need that later on. Uh, we need microprocessors to fix our hyperdrive, so let's do that. We need three of them. Uh, uranium, I would always recommend buying because you can use this for launch fuel in your starship so buy as much as you can we are playing on a normal save we also want to buy all the batteries we can get so we should be okay now let's look at our inventory yeah our inventory is stacked with stuff our uranium is going to go in our starship because this is our fuel for our starship hyperdrive we need chromatic metal i forgot about that so we're looking for copper or if it sells chromatic metal that's great too I don't see any in here. Dang it. That's okay. The other thing we can do is we can check with all the pilots that are landing on the space station. These pilots are... Oh, you guys are leaving. But the pilots will have random materials. They could have copper or magnetite or uh, chromatic metal as well. So just talk to him and see if he has anything. Come on, buddy. You have chromatic metal for me or at least copper. I can turn it into chromatic metal. Let's see. He has... And they will have different items than the normal stuff. Yep, look at that. He has chromatic metal. Let's buy all of his chromatic metal. We're going to need a ton of it anyway. So buy as much as you can. We're going to need it for our hyperdrive anyway. So we got that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we should be able to fix our hyperdrive now. Yep, we have 63 chromatic metal and our three microprocessors we just bought. So let's do that real quick. And we have 150 nanites. Not enough to really do anything. Like, you can't really buy a lot of stuff for 150 nanites. But we might be able to do some cool stuff. All right. Oh, we have our suspicious scatter blaster module. But what we can do... Let's see what we got for sale in here. So, we're going to need to... Well, upgrade our uh, exosuit. If, you, if you're here anyway, might as well do that, right? So, let's do general. No, no. We'll do cargo. Because we need to put stuff in our cargo anyway to get it out of our way. In our uh, ship inventory, let's see what we can get for upgrades here. So if there's anything good, we might sell our upgrades. Infra knife module? No. Photon cannon? Eh, maybe. 
Launch thruster. Yeah, see, there's nothing really that stands out other than Infernife. So if you're an Infernife user, you could totally use that. But I'd never use that. I like the Positron Ejector. That's my favorite upgrade. So let's see. Purchase modules. Let's see what we got for our multi-tool. Anything good here? Pulse Spitter, if you want to use that. We also have the Scatter Blaster module right here. We could... We actually have the plans for a Scatter Blaster. So let's sell. Suspicious Scatter Blaster module. We could sell these to get some nanites for it and then we can buy because the black market ones are iffy you don't know if they're going to be good the a class is a very good one it's guaranteed to have a certain you know number of upgrades on it so that's why i'm going to guarantee get that one the uh b black market ones eh, it's maybe it's hit or miss you might get a good one you might not the other thing we want to try to do is we have anything for our suit anything good we can get here so we can get an underwater protection module. Don't need that yet. A thermal. I think we already have one for a Sub-Zero, so we don't need that. So we should be okay. I mean, you could get a shield module. An A-class is pretty good. All the A-classes are okay. I would prefer to get an S, but you can get an A if you need to. Again, not worried about that. So we have our Scatter Blaster A-class module. Let's go to our multi-tool. We can probably install a Scatter Blaster right now. Yep, we did get our blueprints. But we need a lot more Pugnium in order to get there. And you get Pugnium from either pilots that are landing on the space station or killing Sentinels. So we're going to need to kill a whole bunch more Sentinels if this guy doesn't have any Pugnium on him. Let's see. Let's see if this guy has any Pugnium. You got any Pugnium? Come on. You know you want to. He has no Pugnium at all. He does have some Chromatic Metal, though. Hmm, maybe. He has no Pugnium, though. Dang it. But again, all these pilots will have different stuff. I mean, they have basically the same stuff, but you'll see one or two, maybe a handful of items that are different between all the different pilots. So, no pug game on this guy either. All right, fine, whatever. This guy got any pug game? We're just checking around, seeing if we can get anything good. Pug game. He has gold, silver, pyrite. No Pugnium, though. And it's okay. I mean, it's a really rare thing to get. So a pilot probably won't be carrying Pugnium because they're not out there killing Sentinels like we would be. So purple Pugnium? Nope, nothing. Okay. All right. We're okay. We did fix our hyperdrive, right? Yes, we did. So we can put our warp cell in there. And now we have a 60% a full hyperdrive. So we should be okay with that. Let's put that in there. So, let's move on to the next step in our, uh, in our phase one, which is to rescue an interstellar freighter. We need to go to a different system for that, so we need to use our warp drive to go to a different system. So let's do that real quick. Once you get out into the, uh, into space, you get it down on your D-pad, go to your galaxy map. And that green line right there that you see, that is the trail we need to follow. So let's head on over here, follow that green line, and go to this station or, or this system right here. And because this is our first warp, we're going to see a freighter that needs help. We're going to have to shoot down some pirates. That's why it would be great if we can get some upgrades for our ship, but we don't have that yet. Well, we can take these guys out. I feel like we got it. We got this. So we have six pirates that are attacking this freighter. So let's see if we can grab it. Get this guy right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Easy peasy, we got this. Don't let your, uh, don't let your weapons overheat or else you won't be able to use it for a while. And if you go through the wreckage, you'll pick up their cargo, whatever they dropped. So they, they're pirates, so they have a whole bunch of illegal items, probably. Black market items and upgrades. Like, they have their cool shields now. Let's get this guy. Boom. Go through his wreckage. Get all of his cool upgrade stuff. Oh, let's grab this guy. And yeah, it's not too difficult. You just have to concentrate on one at a time. That's what I usually do. And then go through the wreckage because they will recharge your... Sh your shield. You get a battery for going through the wreckage. Is that it? How many we got left? Oh, we got a few more over here on the other side. Oh, right there. This guy. 
knock this guy out. Woo! Getting attacked hard! So if you want to recharge your shield, press down on your D-pad, go to recharge equipment, and your shield should be the first one in there. And you can use the batteries you've been picking up. Every wreckage will give you a little, bat little battery you can use to recharge your shield. So do that, and you can do it really quick in the middle of battle. That way you don't get any permanent damage to your ship. Because if your shields go down, you start taking permanent damage. Well, I, I say permanent damage. You take damage that won't go away until you land and get out of your ship. As long as you stay in your ship, it will not go away. So we need to go land. Oh, and then we got this guy. He's saying, oh, thank you so much for saving me from these crazy pirates. The life form, who must be the captain of the freighter, looks greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. So, of course, you want to go land on his, uh, on his freighter. So let's go land on it. We need, to go, we need to go talk to him. It's part of our mission. Any pro players, anybody who's played No Man's Sky long enough knows, usually when you land on a freighter, it's because you want to buy it. In this case, for the expedition, you need to land on it to, inc to Im you know, uh, move the story forward. So you need to talk to this pilot, this captain over here. You have to do this. So, you know, a lot of people will ignore it and go, ah, I don't need to. Yes, you do. You need to do this in order to progress the story of the expedition. Let's head on up here to the bridge and let's talk to this captain over here. Hey buddy, how you doing? Lights flicker rapidly across the life form's visor and their head nods imperceptibly forwards. They seem to be showing me gratitude. What happened in the attack? Their facial lights flickering emotionally, the captain produces what appears to be a corrupted star chart. The navigational data glitching and popping. They thrust the chart th towards me, looking tired of the sight of it. So I have a, a fragment. This is what you need. You need these pieces for the expedition. We got a pirate map fragment. It's a partial coordinate data. We blight this galaxy, this new galaxy, as we did the last, as we will the next. So these pirates are all over the place and they are trying to kick butt and take names. From a precise series of hand gestures and a stream of electronic chittering, I gather the attacking pirates are sneaking, seeking this chart, and that this freighter isn't the first to be attacked. Eyeing me with cautious respect, the captain shares the final transmissions from the freighter lost of their fleet. The missing freighter's reports describe contact with a pirate faction, then abruptly stop. May I make note of its last known coordinates. The captain sighs. They look exhausted. They gesture towards the control panel of their own freighter as if to suggest I take command. So now we can ex inspect it and we can grab this freighter. So let's do this. We're going to accept the freighter because we need extra room. You don't have to accept it. You can just say, nah, I'm good. I don't need it. But I like having the extra room, so we're going to accept it. Yeah, save the freighter from pirates. That's what you have to do. Done and done. So let's accept that reward for doing that. We get a uh, freighter recoloring options, cargo bulkhead, and explosive drones. Okay. I'll take that. We have a cargo bulkhead. We're going to need to uh, upgrade it. So over here, you have the upgrade controls for your freighter. We can add additional storage. That uses your uh, cargo bulkhead that you just got. So I would recommend general, but you can put it wherever you want. So there you go. And while we're here, do we have nanites? We have 908 nanites. Your nanites might be different, but what we need to do later on is get a squadron. How you can do that is go to your manage fleet right here. Go to your squadron. Now we need to get 800 nanites before we can even recruit one pilot to be in our squad. So we have that. So we're going to do that real quick. Now that we have our nanites, we're going to use them. So now we're able to recruit a squad member, a pilot, to be in our squad. You still have to go recruit him, so it doesn't really unlock the milestone yet. You have to recruit the guy or girl, the pilot. So what's our next one? We need to visit a red star right here. So the way you can do that is you can either fix your freighter. So if you want to, you can fix this right here. It'll, it'll actually let you go to Red Star Systems, but you need a Warp Hypercore, a Quantum Computer, and 125 Cadmium. That is way too much. 
So instead of doing all of that stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to install an emerald drive or a uh, cadmium drive in our starship. In this ship right here is way cheaper to do. But the first thing we need to do is go to the space station. We need to make some room in our inventory now that we have all the stuff that we've collected. The suspicious packet of goods. There we go. Crystal sulfide defense chip. So we have all this stuff here. Actually, what we should have done was we should have dropped some of the stuff off in our uh, freighter. But that's okay. We'll come back. But we need to go to the space station. We need to sell some stuff. We need to buy some stuff. So let's go do that real quick. Now that we've saved it. Because we need to get some nanites in order to unlock some of these warp drives to get to a red star to even start. The other thing we can do is, if you go into your pause menu, go to your discovery tab, you can upload all of your discovery, and then you'll get some nanites for that. So you could do that as well. You'll get like 10, 15 nanites, not anything insane, but you know, it'll help. Every little bit helps. So explosive drones, eh, we don't need any of that. We need to start putting some of the stuff in our cargo. So let's do that. So let's put our ferrite dust. Um, that, that, let's just drop all of this as much as we can get into our cargo. That way it just gets out of our way and we have more room in our capacity right here. All right. So that's all good. Good to go. Let's sell some stuff here. So I always come over here. You don't have to come to the side. You can go to the other side as well. There are all terminals all over the place. We're going to sell the crystal sulfide. We're going to sell this. We can get it later on, so I'm not worried about it. I need the money right now. I don't need the crystal sulfide in my inventory taking up room, so I'm going to sell that. The defense chip, we're going to sell that because I don't want to stop the pirates from attacking me. You can use that defense chip to stop pirates from attacking you. Gek Relic, we're going to sell that. And I think that's everything we need to sell. We can sell the explosive drones, make some money off of that. There we go. So we, we're good. We have everything set up now. We're we're doing good. We also need we need our Pugnium for our Scatter Blaster. But what we can do is we can install our Scatter Blaster upgrade over here. There you go. So now once we get our Scatter Blaster built, we'll be able to have an upgrade on it already. So from the get-go, we already have an upgraded Scatter Blaster. Let's see these guys. Oh, don't you fly away. Come here, pilot. Don't you do it. I see you. I'm trying to buy some good stuff from you, so let's do offer to trade. What we are looking for is Pugnium. There we go. Look at it. He has Pugnium on him. Perfect. I'm going to buy a, a whole bunch of it. I'm probably about more than I need. We're going to buy some more chromatic metal. We're going to buy some more oxygen. You know, buy everything you need. I always try to buy the essentials <laughs> because you're going to need all that stuff anyway later on. Well, we got our Pugnium, so let's complete our uh, weapon. So now we have a Scatter Blaster. Beautiful. And then the rest of the Pugnium, we can actually just throw into our refiner and make some uh, nanites. Oh, we, only, we need five more and we'll get one nanite. So not worth it, really. <laughs> not worth it, really. There we go on that stuff. Okay, yeah, that's all good. So we put this into our exosuit Kai capacity, our backpack. That way it's out of the way. And then we can move some of our technology because we have our technology in here, right? So let's do that. So we're going to move our life support over here. Hazard protection, hazard protection. Yep. Oh, wait, right there, right there. All right, I like to move all my, my stuff that I don't need up top. And, uh, you know, all my materials down below. So there we go. We're good to go on all this stuff. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, the other thing we can do is we have 846,000 nanites. What we can do is we can buy this ship right here. We can scrap it and get the nanites from it. So let's make an offer on a ship. Negotiate the price. We can buy it for 700,000. We don't want to exchange it because we're going to scrap it and get the money out of it. So we're going to buy it, then go to your starship. We're going to break up anything we don't need. That way we can get the upgrades from it, like the metals, the sodium, and the wiring loom, of course. 
So we can't break anything else. All this stuff is essential. That's all we need. Like, you can't break the engine because you need an engine in a, in a ship. So there's some things you cannot break. But now we're going to scrap it. And so we're going to get 540,000 back. We did spend 700,000. So we just lost a few hundred thousand. But in the process, we're going to gain some upgrades. Some C-class upgrades that we can sell those for nanites. Let's sell these guys real quick. Let's go to purchase and sell. Hyperdrive for 60 and another one for 60. So we just got a few hundred. We are we're up to 229 nanites which is good we're gonna need some for our cadmium upgrade let's go to our cargo oh we don't have enough money for our cargo let's go to our general okay but now after we scrap a ship it just gives you parts you're gonna have to still sell those parts in order to make some money so let's get over here hey you want to buy some ship parts some ship scrap let's go to sell and we're gonna sell yeah all of our stuff our superconducting fiber all this stuff, we can sell it and make money off of it. Spool of nano cables, yep. So I think that's everything. Yep, that's all of it. So yeah, there we go. So we have a clean inventory. We have everything we need. So let's head over to the Space Anomaly to buy some of our upgrades now. The upgrades we need to go to a red star. And again, we can also make some hyperdrive fuel. So let's do uh, antimatter. We can make five antimatter. And we can make five antimatter housings. That way we can make a warp cell. Boom. Five. Done. And so we have two left over. That's pretty good, right? Boom. There we go. There we go. So to call in our uh, space anomaly, there you are. Let's get this going. Get that space anomaly, because this is a lot easier than fixing up your freighter. You don't have to fix up your freighter. Like, according to the expedition tab, it says, hey, fix up your freighter, and you you can go to a red sky, you know, red star system. No, don't do that. It costs way too much. It's either too much time because you have to find all that stuff, or too much money because all that stuff is really, really expensive. So instead, just make one for your starship. You don't need your freighter to come there. So we're going to be heading back to the back of the Space Anomaly. And actually, on our way, we should talk to Helios and Ares. Because there's two characters, two travelers over here, that will give you nanites for your uh, milestone data. So Helios will give you random nanites for scanning stuff and every day it's different some days it's scanning rocks some days it's scanning plants he just wants you to scan stuff and give him the info so i don't have any new discoveries so i don't have anything to give him but aries he could have something let me see he takes your milestones into effect so selling stuff selling items will get you a milestone done walking killing you know pirates stuff like that is milestone stuff so let's do milestone data and let's see what we got. We got, ooh, look at that, 500 nanites. That's way more than enough. So I just want to make sure I have enough nanites in order to get an upgrade. We need to go to our ship kiosk right over here, Hesperus, or Hyperion, excuse me. Hyperion, he has all the upgrades for your ship. And you'll see you need to get, we have a hyperdrive. We need to get a cadmium drive. That allows you to go to a red system. And the reason why I told you to get it is because you only need chromatic metal and wiring loom. We have those things. We don't need to get, like, cadmium. We don't need to get a uh, uh, warp hyper core. We don't need to get any of that advanced stuff. This is way easier to use. So let's do that real quick. And now we have to just install it. So where's our hyperdrive? We're going to put that up here. Because we're going to install the hyper core right next to it, the cadmium drive. And we have our three wiring looms. And our 250 chromatic metal. Now we can go to a red star with just our regular ship. We don't need to fix that whole thing. It's just crazy. I don't know why they want you to fix your freighter. That's crazy. That's way too much. It would take you forever, I should say. It would take you forever to get all the stuff needed. So easiest way, just knock that one out. 
So now we can just go out there and find a red star in our galaxy map. Let's go do that. And here we are in our awesome galaxy right here. In our awesome system. Go to the galaxy map. And so you're looking, if you have the default filter, like I have the default filter right now, what you want to do is you want to look for a red star. And on the way, you see that green line? We can go to a red star right here. This is a red star, literally red, right? So let's go to this one. And this will be us going to a red star system. So we'll be able to knock this one out super quick. And as soon as you land here, it should pop the, uh... There it is! Red Skies visited a red star system. Beautiful. Let's get our reward for doing that. We're gonna get 500 nanites, so we basically just paid for what we got anyway. Storage augmentation for our ship. And a banned hyperdrive upgrade, so a black market hyperdrive upgrade. Of course, all that stuff is its well worth it just to do that in your ship. So let's go into our inventory real fast. We have our hyperdrive upgrade. Let's pop that baby, put it right in there. We're gonna move this out of the way. Because you want, again, you want all your hyperdrives together. That way, they give each other a boost. Let's put our warp cell in there. We're good to go. And we have a storage augmentation. We're good. But now, what we need to do to finish off expedition phase one is we need to reach rendezvous number one. So, we need to go to our galaxy map. And rendezvous number one is going to be right here, right next to where we were. Look at that. Beautiful. Right there. You want to look for the system that has a cool golden circle on it. That is the uh, rendezvous system. This time, rendezvous number one. So once we get here, we're going to have to actually look for it. So it's not just getting to the system like the red star system thing. What we need to do is we need to find the rendezvous. It's going to be on a planet. And it's going to be specifically right over here. So let's head over here and find that first rendezvous. Now, this location is not exact. When we land, we're going to have to actually look for the actual rendezvous. So what I usually do is I do a scan. And if there's a building nearby, that's probably where the rendezvous is actually going to be. Let's go over here. So when we land to begin a search, I think it's going to be actually over here where the communication stations are and all that kind of stuff. But let's land right on the uh, space station or the trading outpost. Come on. Land. There it is. But if you need to, what you can do is when you pull out your visor, once you land, you pull out your visor and it'll be in sweep mode and it'll tell you, hey, go in this direction. But because we figured it out, we're here. Done and done. So that is done with phase one. So let's accept our reward. So get the reward gold 2000 gold an exosuit expansion unit and gek standing is increased i love that beautiful and then the other thing is when you complete a whole phase you get a reward in this one we get a sputtering starship trail customization so now we can put a sputtering engine on our our starship which is awesome by the way that is very cool so hopefully you guys liked this guide. If you did, hit the like button for me, and I will see you guys in the next video.